What's up everybody and welcome back. Feeling under the weather today. So figured I'd try and make a video for you guys and and do a little something with my time. And I think I'll do a pack dump, show you guys my backpack and what I used hunting every single day, what's in it, and uh, what I kind of left out because I'm still using it at the moment. So but here's my pack dump guys I hope you guys enjoy all right first of all I got my platform and I'm using the XOP backpack and I got the XOP platform right here strapped to the back and then once I'm up in the tree sorry for the wind guys the wind noise I have this right now it's empty but I usually I have camera batteries any kind of cables, anything I need right here. It's super windy. <laughs> a rainstorm is about to come in. So I hope you guys can hear me. But camera pocket, this is all camera pocket. If I need to put like my license and stuff, I might throw it in there. Uh, little pockets I use for like non-essential stuff. Like if I need to make any adjustments on my bow, on the fly or anything, I have my Allen wrenches. <laughs> And on this side, I'll just put something like some thumbtacks or, or I'll change it out. Sometimes I'll put some dough and heat, a little scent in there or something in there. And then on this side pocket over here in the side, I have my face makeup. And I'll, always, I'll try to put that mirror in so I don't get any reflections to spook the deer. And then here I'll usually have some kind of cover scent, spray and some and some foam face foam everything in this pocket and this uh, this has that liner so it's like a scent free pocket so you can put some dough and heat in there and not worry about it spilling in your backpack and stinking everything up and then up here i have a battery backup i got this from bass pro shops and it actually has a led light on the back for emergencies and i have this S clip that I use for my uh, my quiver for my bow or anything else I need to hang on there and then here I'll have cable charging cable for my cell phone because you always need to have a backup plan sometimes I'll do the black rack antlers and I'll strap them to the bottom um, but when I'm doing on the go quick stuff I'll throw a call in here I have this call I have a couple different calls and I got the bag that I'll just throw in here and for some reason I have some random ammo probably need to put that up I don't know how long that's been in there but just random stuff like that sometimes I'll put um, my rack on this side and I'll, I'll have enough room to put a bottle of water or a drink in the side pocket and then there's a top hole up here the very top you guys can see I put binoculars and rangefinder this is what that pockets for and that's what it's for only I don't want to mess up any kind of lens as like a felt liner I don't want to mess up my lenses and stuff so I don't put anything else in there that could damage that and then this whole pocket the big pull-out pocket I'll have some camera accessories like different kinds of holders and stuff here um, just hat clip and other stuff on the go and then my camera arm and stuff for the different the different angles and if and I might have enough room I could see for another camera in here so I might upgrade my camera we'll see because uh, I filmed on my cell phone last time because the other camera shuts off after like 29 minutes or something for filming and then the one thing I really like about this backpack is this back pocket right here in this pocket it has I'll put wipes you never know when you need to go number two in the woods hunting license usually I have it all laminated or something and I'll put snacks and stuff back here that I don't worry about getting squished kind of snacks like some fruit gummies beef jerky back there because it doesn't get in the way and when it's really cold I kind of won't go in with the with the black rack I'll do the bag and I'll put like a jacket down here and go in without my jacket and not put it on until I get in the tree stand but I, I hang it 
on my gear hanger. My gear hanger is always on my saddle, but I'll hang it just just from this right here, from the, and it'll hang all day. And it's it's been a great backpack. I had a different backpack when I started. It was a little noisy, and uh, it didn't fit my equipment in like I like it to. I like to know where everything is in different pockets, not all thrown in one pocket. So this kind of separates everything just like I need it. And I have tons of room to put other stuff in here. But she weighs probably about five pounds. And then with this, it's probably about 10 to 15 pounds. It's not so bad. I carry my sticks in separately over my shoulder. But, uh, but to put her back on, you just run these straight through here. It's like it's super simple. I was clipping it on the other backpack a lot differently. And you can and you can do these buckles as loud as quiet depends on if you care for the noise or not as you want see so, you know, you gotta do is just put your fingers here squeeze and let release but you can tighten her down this this has been a great backpack and perfect for my saddle hunting needs so I hope you guys enjoy this quick video of my pack unload I know it's not a lot my GoPro I'll usually carry in my pocket and I'll keep the GoPro batteries in that front pocket just because you never know when you need to get to it then you can't get to it easily with this saddle platform on to get to it to film because you don't want to miss any good filming or anything but that is it I hope you guys enjoy this video make sure you hit that like and subscribe until next time guys we'll see ya